Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. We are here, you may see the thumbnail, the title, and you may be like, gamers, didn't we do this already? Sort of. We pretty much did the one in the juice mod, but I saw that there was a whole mod dedicated to the one punch fist aka you know the fist that one punch man uses himself satama is that how you say his name i don't know that sounded pretty cool so i feel like i feel like that was correct or saitama saitama you want me to say it like that you want me to say it like a white person saitama yeah we're testing out the uh the one punch fist here from the one punch mod it says kills everything in one punch that's a lot of damage and it has insane knockback and very fast speed let's see it in action first all right before we start beating some bosses up let's see it in action Okay, interesting. So we're not punching anything. You know, I haven't seen One Punch Man myself. I just know what the character looks like. I know it's a good show. No idea how he actually uses his fist. Does he actually punch things? Or does it do something like this where, what the hell? Or does it do something like this where, you know, kind of shoots out a fist. We're shooting a fist out of us. But uh, damn, that's really a lot of damage. No meme intended. But yeah, as we can see, this thing shoots fists. I don't know if it has contact damage. It might have contact damage too. Where if we actually hit it with the fist, it does damage and not with the flying fist. But yeah, as we can see, it is very destructive. And I think I think this fist is gonna destroy a good bit of bosses. Now, the real question is, will I remember every boss? Because it seems that every video I forgot a boss. People in the last video though, they were tweaking, bro. Some of y'all were on something. I don't know, when you watch a video, do you actually watch the video? Because a bunch of people were like, gamers, you missed the queen bee, you missed the queen bee. The queen bee was in the first minute of the video, right next to the eye of Cthulhu, which is another boss people told me to miss. But the actual bosses that i missed in the last video was the whole entire old ones army set of bosses completely forget about them completely forget about a, that event it's a great event i just never do it most of the time unless i'm doing specifically a sentry character or you know a summoner character but yeah let's hop into it let's see who i forget this time you know a bunch of people also tell me that i missed the dungeon guardian I, I would not consider the dungeon guardian a boss let's see what i forget and what i don't forget i should just like forget like half the bosses just to fuck with people one video boom king slime dead i'll do it in order i'll try my best Best to do it in order all right let me uh turn up this brightness here hopefully it doesn't blind anyone but boom i could do Lunex. next get him out of here who's after that i i don't know i feel like it's kind of optional who's after that it's either it's either the b or it's skeletron no let's do skeletron first i don't know if i'm in the jungle and i got some good gear then i'm fighting the queen bee but if i'm in the jungle and i got bad gear there's no way i'm fighting the queen bee but boom, there's a, there's Skeletron. Okay, maybe I won't do them in order. I feel like doing them in order takes a little bit longer. You know, it's more organized, but like, it's just easier to fight all the daytime bosses during daytime, all the nighttime bosses during nighttime. So uh, let's see here. I, Brain of Cthulhu. I don't know what I would consider the Brain of Cthulhu. I just can't. This is a daytime boss or anytime boss. But uh, you know, obviously, gotta fight in the Crimson. Actually, I don't know if you have to, because we just killed it right there. But I do have a lot of mods installed. Next up, the Worm. Now, here's here's a weird thing about the Worm. There's all these bosses here, right? The Eater of Worlds is not in here for some reason. He's not in this like boss section in a uh, cheat sheet. You get to you get to search him in like the all NPC section. I don't know why. I don't know why it's like that. There's a little piece of him. Uh, that's actually a lot of him. That's all of them right there, isn't it? Yeah, I usually summon in the Eater of the Worlds up in the sky near his Corruption Island. I usually do it with a summoner because it's kind of weird that he isn't in the boss section and I, you gotta actually search him. Where'd there go? There's some tips and tricks. Before we take on the Wall of Flesh, let's knock Turkor and uh, the Rabbit out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna call Lepus the Rabbit, just in case that pisses anyone off, you know? Let's fight the Rabbit. Bye-bye, Rabbit. So pretty much we have been one-punching everything. Uh, the Eater of Worlds, you know, he always has his little thing. I guess the same thing with any boss that has uh, segments, things you can hit and they die, but the boss itself doesn't die. But uh, let's move on to the wall of flesh. I wonder if I punch the wall of flesh anywhere. Yeah, I'm assuming anywhere. So let's, let's hit him in the bottom eye. Who hits him in the bottom eye, right? All right let me think. What eye do I shoot at the most? I, I think I shoot at the top eye the most when I fight the wall of flesh in regular playthroughs. More of a top eye middle mouth, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm mixing up. Maybe I do shoot at the bottom eye. It just depends. It's like asking, is like, hey, bro, are you more of an ass or tit sort of guy? It's like, I'm more of a bottom eye mouth sort of guy. <laughs> All right, let's knock out the mech trio. You know, I like to summon in the mech trio like this. We got Fargo's mod installed we just type in amalgam boom mechanical amalgam bam summon hopefully i'm saying that word right and we got all three of them damn the destroyer got one tab legitimately unlike his lesser brother i guess would i even consider a lesser brother because it seems the either world survives more hits every time but we got both of them here now if i hit one of them does it kill both of them no it just kills one of them 
I feel like we've had times where we hit one of them and they both died. All right, hopefully I haven't missed anyone yet. No, I got Akram on my mind, which people were telling me to pronounce Akram Marco. So I think that's what Akram is backwards. Something like that. I don't know. It's like a reference. But some people were telling me to pr pronounce Akram in a weird way. I'm going to pronounce it how I pronounce it. It's just like how people pronounce Terraria. If you're one of those people that gets pissed off when people pronounce things wrong, you know, there's bigger things in life to be worrying about. Your best friend has cancer, bro. And you're over here like, he said Terraria. All right, Plantera, what's up? Can we get you into your second form without insta-killing you? I mean, the answer is no. There's nothing else to say there. All right, Akram, will you do that thing where you freeze my game and then explode into blood? Yes, you will. Which seems to happen like 90% of the time we do videos like this. I don't know why it does that. It, it just does that. You know, people ask me all the time. They're like, Game Raiders, what, what is this biome you're in? This is from the Calamity mod. And... That, that's it this used to be the pp ocean it's no longer pp colored i don't know what happened to it it's kind of upsetting but yeah let's fight duke bye bye let's duke it out it's not really duking it out though i just beat his i just fisted him if you think about it but yeah there you go i think that's all the main bosses obviously we got moon lord lunatic cultists and the pillars but let's do the mini bosses quote unquote mini bosses i would consider them regular bosses let's start with the the martian see how that that works out you know do the do the event bosses first i guess these are all event bosses can you come over here please i'm, I'm just away from there we go boom okay that seemed like multiple hits but this thing does have a little aoe leaves after so uh that the aoe must do a lot of damage too okay so the martian ufo was in the bosses section but not the flying dutchman which i think the flying dutchman should be a cooler boss this boss kind of weak low key like in terms of you know how you fight it you just shoot the cannons that's it i feel like that boss should be way cooler it should have way more mechanics and stuff whatever it's not like relogic listens to what we have to say anyways <laughs> <clears throat> drop a 1.4 release date before we all die all right next up morning wood now i always see i always see like one comment every time i say morning wood they're like <laughs> i get it morning wood it's like bro that's the whole point of his name that's the whole point of his name and people always gotta be like morning wood does anybody see the joke there it's like bro you got the beautiful pump king which is hey it's not nighttime that's why he ran away so quickly but uh you know he's one of my favorite looking event bosses i'm not on the fist come on i gotta do this before he leaves nope you ain't going nowhere next up the ever scream after that the sand tank or santa nk1 and last but not least for the christmas stuff the ice queen she ran so far away bro come on oh killed her before she can even do anything she dropped ice cream bro See, this is why the thorium mod is the best mod you got throwable ice cream all right that should be all of the bosses i think all the mini bosses actually mothron there we go that's another boss i think i missed does mothron have a health bar you don't have a health bar i'm not seeing no actual health bar here i'll, I'll try and kill her anyways let me see if i can get above her oh, oh oh i don't think we can kill her unless we're either it's nighttime or we're in the event no whatever mothron will say you get to live but yeah betsy betsy gotta go bye bye and then after betsy we got the the dark mage which there's two of them here probably summon in the higher health one the dark mage there you go and then we have the ogre which is another one of my favorite looking bosses i love this guy look at him he just looks stupid a good kind of stupid let's uh knock his ass out he has great animations i love the animations for these dudes but there you go that should be all the bosses hopefully i didn't miss any but let's go fight the uh cultist moon lord or all that i probably miss one honestly I probably did. It's just gonna happen at this point that we're always gonna miss one. Somebody told me, like, gamers, just write down every boss you do. Bro, if I did everything the smart way, would there ever be anything to criticize for me? My favorite thing due to the lunatic cultist is to kill him and then see how fast I can kill him right when he spawns in. Oh, you doing it right here? Sorry, right here. See you later. Get him the hell out of here. All right, we got the pillars. I'm assuming we can one, we'll just one tap these two. And nothing has really shown resistance. Nothing usually shows resistance when it comes to vanilla monsters and all that. Really, we see the resistance pop up when it comes to the modest stuff, aka the calamity area and, you know, the occasional blue magic mod. Usually the vanilla stuff is not bad, but, you know, I like to test all the vanilla mobs out. It's the main core of bosses and people get mad when they see mods. It's like when I showed the fastest vanilla pickaxes in the, you know, that pickaxe video and that the fastest modded ones people were getting mad they're like bro you just showed the fastest modded ones it's like were you watching the video i showed the fastest vanilla ones but yeah solar solar pillar bye bye 
usually the hardest pillar honestly that one and the nebula one i believe are the ones i usually have trouble with and boom the last pillar now the moon lord should spawn but instead of me waiting for the moon lord i'm gonna just reset my game because doing this is way faster all right moon lord what's up so let's see here god oh he closed his eye before i can hit it let's go ahead one tap everything oh my god that does so much damage the number is just so big when you get something with this yeah go ahead pop open that top eye you know the moon lord to me has always looked uh very naughty all his body parts look very naughty um phallic i guess you would say i can't wait until i can see his legs though i don't have a leg fetish or anything i'm just very interested to see if they'll actually be cool and add in his legs or if they're just gonna do something haha -ha, funny moon lord vanity legs we'll see how re how cool relogic is after the 1.4 update if it even comes out all right next up now i'm trying to think of thorium bosses here and there might be more than one thorium boss we can test out i think we should test out abyssion because abyssion has multiple phases where he has super high defense and he's a little bit untouchable but we'll, we'll we'll see in a second here let's let's start with these guys first make it nighttime hopefully you can see everything okay. oh my god that was so loud <laughs> I don't know if it was loud for you guys, but that shit just blew up in my ears. Okay, I got two bosses here. We got Abyssion and we got the Star Caller. Now, the Star Caller, I'm very interested in because it does have multiple phases you gotta go through when fighting it, where it stops and sits there and then you gotta like kill monsters from it. But let's see nope okay <laughs> no multiple phases that time so i can only assume that abyssion is not gonna have multiple phases either i guess we don't need to go to the ocean to fight abyssion he's just being raged now he's chilling i don't think he's oh now he's enraged all right abyssion i feel like even though he did instantly die pretty much he showed a little bit of resistance you saw that we got to see his forms change for a second okay so we might throw him on the list of bosses we can test in the future because you know i knew something might have been up with him be yeah, on to let's, let's do the juice mob bosses before the calamity ones and then we'll you know finish up with the calamity ones and of course the idol on worm but so far it's seeming like this the one punch fist is one pin one punch in most things and uh you know it's exactly what i expected but calamity will be the true test obviously all right, Jumbo Cactuar, what's up, man? Okay, he died in one shot. Who would have thought? Next up, SAX. Okay. I wonder if there's ever a way if you can, like, completely insta-kill SAX. You know, these bosses that have multiple forms, some of them we insta-kill. But others, they go through their little form change. I wonder if there's a way that we, or if there's ever going to be a weapon where we insta-kill both of their phases. All right, next up, Gilgamesh and Kidu. Boom, and Kidu dead. Gilgamesh, he goes to his next form, and he's about to he's about to make that noise again when we hit him. <laughs> you know what? Might as well just do the Alpha Cactus Worm. Might as well, just, just to see. You know, there's not that many bosses in, juice, in the Juice Monster. Might as well, you know, kill all of them. All right, on to the Devourer of Gods makes a very loud noise when he spawns in this is the true test right here this is the true test let's go for the tail oh it doesn't work it doesn't work as we can see now the calamity mod is known as the butcherer of fun and as we can see it doesn't work but then i take out the tome manipulation and no, that's not considered butchering, even though it looks like to me, I just slaughtered dog. Let's see. Second form is usually the same. It's going to be like, you can't butcher me. Haha, -ha, quirky dialogue that boss talks to you with. And then we take out tone manipulation. Hold on, grab his head. Grab his head. That's not his head. It's still doing a lot of damage. There we go. You, you telling me that's not butcher? So we could assume at this point that no other... It's so loud. We could assume at this point no other boss is going to be killable from calamity because it's going over the damage cap unless you take out the tome man manipulation obviously and just hold right click and then you pretty much insta kill everything all right pretty much the last boss of calamity besides the eidolon worm which is just tradition that we test out at this point obviously nothing's gonna happen here. but you know i gotta test it anyways because you never know well what happens if one time all the other bosses negate the damage and then just one other boss is like just gets instantly killed okay well obviously this didn't work so this boss didn't get insta killed but you know i still want to do some more testing here when we look at the boss list you know there's a lot of bosses here a lot of bosses that i've never you know fought myself like this bill cypher in here ugandan knuckles is in here we got the mutant from the fargo's mod the abomination from the fargo's mod uh bosses that you know there's like whole mods like dedicated to i'm pretty sure we can test these two out and see what they what they're like if they can be butchered or not but then after that idol on worm that's it end the video after that i know the calamity mod devs are gonna be mad when they see this all right so let's go ahead let's try out the abomination and the mutant okay don't know what's going on already this looks pretty insane hopefully this music isn't copywritten i don't know oh did we kill him second phase 
That's it. It seems like they probably don't have any uh, damage caps or anything, which is very good. It's very good for me. This looks pretty cool, though, these fights. Oh, my God. That's a lot of health. Oh, it's all gone. Wait, no, he's still... He's, whoa! What the hell is happening right now? You're supposed to fight this? I don't know about this one. He's doing some crazy stuff. I might, I might have pissed him off. How do you even dodge that? Is there dodging that way? You go all the way out here to dodge it? See, this is why I like to say Terraria isn't a bullet hell game. Because this does not look fun. If I wanted to dodge bullets like this, I'd go play Isaac. I'd go play Gungeon. I'd go play that other game. What's it called? This this one? When do I get to fight him? Again? Does he just do this forever? <laughs> oh, there you go. He's dead now. Okay, well, he put on a nice show for us, even though I already killed him. See, now he's freaking out. I don't know what I did to him. Last but not least, of course, the adult Eidolon Worm. What? It just kind of died. It's dying. Can you stop dying? I want to fight you. Why does it keep dying? Okay, I don't know. The Eidolon Worm piece dying. It usually, it usually never does this. You've seen me summon it in before. This thing is just dying on sight. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't like daytime. No, it's just dying. All right, I'm gonna consider that a W against the idol on worm. But yeah, there you go. There was another OP weapon tested. You know, you guys in the comments, leave me some like legit OP weapons. I'm talking about actually OP, not some stuff where it's like you know it does a lot of damage and it takes a bunch of hits. We want weapons that are super super strong. You know, it can take like a couple of hits, but not anything where it's like a gun and you gotta shoot something like a hundred times like any any weapon would be considered op at that point but uh let me know if i missed the boss i probably did it i'm um, not any stupid bosses you guys are gonna say hold up here I'll, I'll do this just for the people that always wanted it because i know i know people want this all right he's the dungeon guardian he has 2000 health a lot of defense all right well there you go he's dead and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i keep saying it like every single video i do 200k special coming soon i just did the room tour i just recorded it before this and now i want to do a q a that's gonna be a long video now that i think about it but uh, i'll get it done eventually but, yeah thank you everyone for watching i'll, I'll see you next time